Esmeralda, Planet Protector. And Goober. It's really magic. <laughs> it really comes down to magic. The magic of theater, you could say in one way, or the magic of love. Um, the magic of laughter. Ian particularly understands what kids find funny. Our mission is to create a generation of environmentally responsible people. So we are reaching as many kids as we can and teaching them about how to be responsible with the resources that we have. At Dream Rider, we have live plays for kids on subjects like water conservation, zero waste, energy conservation and things like that. And we also have the Planet Protector Academy, which has an interactive digital classroom program that is designed for teachers to run in the classroom without us there. We embed lessons deeply into storyline so that kids don't even know that they're learning. So it's not like we're going to interrupt this funny thing to tell you a serious message. The serious message is right in the funny thing. If we just keep trying and trying, we're going to do a little bit better. Always learning, always growing. That's my motto. This is what I call my living classroom. I like my children to be here and feel like they are part of nature in their own classroom. Hamster, fire belly toes. One of the important parts of the show was when parents come back and talk to me about something their children have said at home. And that's really cool to hear that the message came from the show and it went home and the parents brought it back to me to tell me that their kid was making a difference at home. The number one concern has to be underlying reading, writing, and math that we are the planet protectors and that the children do make a difference. How do we protect the planet? We work hard every single day and we all do our part to make a huge difference. If we are not inspiring them to be environmental superheroes, each and every one of them, then we're not doing our job. We have to do it early and we have to be passionate and we have to give our entire life to it. This is where it all started. When I was in kindergarten, uh, the Dream Riders came to my class and they started talking to us about water and how we need to save it because eventually we're like wasting water isn't really good for our environment. <laughs> I told my mom about what I had seen because I always told her everything. So that night she turned on the tap and started brushing her teeth and left the tap running and I yelled at her and I went, water waster, water waster, and she was really confused. She was like, what, what? I think it's brilliant learning from my daughter. Her just asking us, you know, and just saying, why, why do you do that? And I didn't have a good answer. <laughs> just said, you know, I don't know why I do that. I, it just must be something I've always done. When we brush our teeth, we kind of just get the toothbrush wet when we need it and we don't leave the water running. If all the kids did that, if they all impacted their parents the way Tanner impacted us, it would make a difference. You know, we'd, you do it in your home, then it goes, it rolls out, and provincially, it's, we're saving water, and then maybe globally, we're saving water. From now on, we are all gonna save water. And we're gonna tell our friends and families to save water too. We are all working toward a bright green future and together we can make it happen. Can we do it, you guys? Yeah! Hey, mother, the, the reservoir is refilling! Mission accomplished, Goober. Mission accomplished. Yeah! Dream Rider is a social enterprise. We work with municipal governments who want to get messaging out to the public. And so they hire us to bring plays to their kids and the kids go home with the messages that the municipalities want. So that's how we operate as a social enterprise. We might be the only theater company in the world, partially funded by the Solid Waste Department <laughs> and the Water Department. I think the connection that people have to water in Vancouver is, well, it's all around you. It's great drinking water right from our tap. Dream Rider does great work and their, their work sold itself. We told other municipalities that this is something we were supporting and they, as a result, have been very active throughout the region and have gained the support of many different municipalities and levels of government. And here we've got these little kids who are getting it. 
and you can see the connection being made. These are our leaders for tomorrow, so it's very important the work they're doing. One of the reasons that I sort of took to it so quickly, and I think the kids did as well, is the interactivity of it. Uh, the kids totally get engaged. There's lots of movement that gets to be involved. They get to do group stuff, stuff on their own, and also the interactiveness with the technology. Um, for me as a teacher, um, as well as the principal being super busy, this is a program that was perfectly laid out. I didn't have to think about it. I didn't have to do anything. And it was really, really easy to implement, and everything was there. Every day when we go into a school and we start performing for kids, they're like, their energy and their enthusiasm for what we do is so infectious. It's that kinetic energy and that real life connection that's happening between us as performers and those children. We are the protectors of our environment. Kids can make a difference. And I think that's what the show does. We don't just go look at the lake and look at the river we take care of it. One day I realized that in the city of Vancouver, every single kid in the past 17 years who's gone to elementary school has seen our plays. So to me, the idea that we could spread that, that kids everywhere would be becoming change agents and changing the world, not just themselves, changing their families, changing how they feel about the environment from a fundamental level, that's pretty exciting. I'm Esmeralda, Planet Protector. And Cuba. And Vanessa. 